More than 30 children who were missing have been found by a specialized U.S. Marshals unit focusing on missing children. Incredible story here. These are children that may have fallen through the cracks, children that perhaps nobody is looking for. News 5 anchor Tracy Carlos went along with U.S. Marshals for Operation Homecoming. U.S. Marshals on the air. As the sun comes up in Summit County, a U.S. Marshals-led team of law enforcement officers are already crisscrossing Akron. But this time, they're not looking for fugitives. So our main, main goal at the end of each day or with each case is to make sure that these kids are safe. Hello. Hi, ma'am. They're searching for missing children instead. When's the last time you talked to her? Trying to find a missing girl. She's been missing since... Are you friends? Like, you talk to her often? Are you friends with her? June of this year. Where'd they go when they ran away? No one's seen or heard from her. We just need to locate her, make sure she's safe. It's called Operation Homecoming. So that's why it's a concern for us, wow. too. Do you know where she stays? For several weeks. We got a handful of case files here. Armed with the names of dozens of missing kids in Summit County. <laughs> Tried multiple different addresses for her. But we don't know if she's in Cleveland or Akron. Pull it up now. Once everybody's in the area, we'll put a knock in. They've been knocking on doors. It's the marshal's office in the and asking questions. If you could come to the door and help us, I appreciate it. Getting information from family, friends, associates um, that may lead to more information, may lead to another address. Five door here and a door there. Following a trail that they hope leads to finding a missing kid. She definitely could know where she's at. Ricky Life is the mother of six. She told me a team that is laser focused on bringing kids home is needed. From a parent's point of view, it's great, honestly, because if one of my kids went missing, I I wouldn't know what to do. No contact yet. U.S. Deputy Marshal Vinny Piccoli heads up the Marshal's missing child unit. Contact at the front door. Hi, ma'am. It is a job that he is passionate about. She's actively missing. A lot of these kids that are on these active lists throughout the Northern District of Ohio are kids that like nobody really is looking for. This is the second time the U.S. Marshal's missing child unit has had an operation like this one. Last spring, they were able to locate 35 missing children. We've located and recovered quite a bit of kids that were in terrible situations. In 2015, Congress expanded the U.S. Marshal's authority to search for missing kids. The U.S. Marshal Service are the best fugitive hunters in the world. You've covered story after story uh, for us of some of those captures. So we're the best at finding people. We're trying to help Akron find missing kids. Last year. It always hits home. U.S. Marshal Pete Elliott established the missing child unit here in Northern Ohio. One you know, child that was missing in the Summit County area. Afterward, their parents sent me a photograph of them together with their daughter. So, you know, it's times like that. It makes you feel good about the work you're doing. Right now, Elliot told me there is no other task force dedicated to finding missing kids. So they didn't sound like they didn't know yes. who she's with. And he has plans to expand the missing child Like unit. I said, it's been a while since I've even seen her. Gotcha. He says a team focused on finding the missing is needed. It's astronomical the amount of missing people and missing children out there, you know, in Ohio and throughout the country. We're going to have the occupants here drive by the address. For the teams knocking on doors, they don't always find who they're looking for every day. But when they do... It's an opportunity to kind of interact with these kids and, and hope that you set them on the right path, get them in touch with resources that they may need. And that may just change a life. We're going to wait and see. In Akron. For one missing person, it's all worth it. Tracy Carlis. So we're going to see if we can get a good phone number for her location. News 5. A total of 32 kids between the ages of 13 and 18 were found, some in the Akron area, some in the city of Cleveland. One child reported missing by Akron police more than two years ago was safely located all the way in Washington state.